Aidan O'Brien has won the Kazoo Oaks with a marvellous performance from Snowfall, his ninth success in the race. Many congratulations. Did you expect anything like that? I know it's very hard to expect that, Lydia, but we, we always thought she was very high class last year. She's like unbelievable pedigree. She's uh, out of a sister to found, um, and, and uh, like obviously the lads sent her over to Deep Impact, which was an un unbelievable uh, meeting, you know. So, listen, uh, to put those kind of pedigrees together, obviously this is what happened, you know. So listen, I think it's big credit to them for doing that. Um, but she's, we always thought she was very good last year. Um, she raced in all, a lot of the big races. Um, but she just never got it together the way we thought she would. She, she done very well over the winter. Uh, David, who rides her every day, has been very happy with her. Wayne and Seamus, who ride her work, and Jamie, who's in charge of her. So they, they've always, um, everyone has always been very happy with her this year um, obviously when she went to York we saw what she did when she stepped up and trip maybe it was the step up and trip and maybe it was over the winter and she getting stronger she just started to get it all together um, like obviously we were worried about the ground because she's a very good moving filly that shows plenty of class so um, listen obviously to, to, to do that today they have to get a mile and a half well yes. and, and obviously when she went up in another quarter of a mile she was even more impressed so she's obviously very good Charlie or um, uh, uh, Frankie was very impressed with her which is, is a great sign and he said don't be afraid to go to a King George or do anything with this filly he says she like she felt the real thing so that's very uh, very uh, encouraging well she's won by 16 lengths so you, you can you can un understand that he said that you'd said to her him that she was a bit fizzy as yeah. a two-year-old is that yeah. part of the mental maturity that yeah. she's left it behind yeah no she, she she's she's generous she, like she wasn't uh, uh, we just had to keep her relaxed and a few things happened to her in races that didn't work out and she got nearly brought down at the car and a maiden and things like that and we had to go gentle with her we were always concentrating on just relax rather than 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 uh, like having to win every race yes. so the, the, the important thing was that she learned to relax and, and obviously she did and as the season got on she she got more mature mentally but maybe when we were teaching her maybe physically she got a little bit weak because of the races she was having but obviously with the benefit of hindsight it looks like it could have all came together and, and did her very good um i said to frankie going out listen that she, she can take she can travel a bit you know what i mean she, she she's generous you know but listen he, he put her asleep lovely and, and uh, listened to the rest of history wasn't it like he gave her a super brilliant ride really it was absolutely brilliant and all of that experience i think has stood her in good stead and now she just seems to be so straightforward it seems that you can put her anywhere she was up front in the musadora here she was dropped in because the pace was a bit hard yeah no we, we like obviously we 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 um, we didn't have any horse in the in the in in, in the coronation. It was just a, a little bit of a a, a a stop start pace. And we always, if we have something that can go forward, we're always happy because it's an even pace for everybody. Then and Williams Philly, we always felt stayed well, but we were a bit worried about the ground. But we knew that she wanted an even pace, so we had said it to, to William. William was happy just to go even if, but there was plenty of pace up there, so they all went even. So I, I think that gave everybody, everybody a chance. And uh, um, Ryan's Philly then was stepping up from a mile to. A mile and a half and soft ground which probably wasn't ideal when the ground was like that you'd obviously would have loved to have had a, a race over a mile and a quarter on the way but that wasn't to be and we we didn't realize that the ground was going to turn up this soft she just got there and got tired so she'll probably go back to a mile and a quarter now she and mrs philly ran well she's a an, a sister to found and this filly is out of a sister to found and and she, she ran very well so um way and then wayne's filly is still a little bit weak but but progressing so um no sure listen it, it they, they all ran well really just briefly coming back to santa barbara she, she clearly shows you so much at home and yes. she's been ryan moore's choice now twice in, yes. in two classes yes. and he's seen was he frankie the tory rider stable companion to yes. victory what is it that she shows you at i know she well she at home over a mile working she would be much travel much stronger than this filly travel much stronger this filly in soft ground always oh, a little bit labory but but she's a beautiful e low action filly and that would be understandable so like obviously i think getting close to the race if the if Ryan had been able to change at that stage, he would, because obviously we weren't expecting the ground to be like this. So really in that type of ground, when the pace is even, you need a very battled hard and seasoned horse to be able to cope with it all. And that's exactly what she was. She had all that those runs and experience last year, and it, and it really stood to her today. And she had the lovely run in York. So um, listen, all those things come together. When, when the ground goes like that, like the going gets very tough, you know. And Frank, he's mentioned the King George to you. Uh, what, what else might you... I mean, normally I'd be expecting you to go to the Irish Oaks with her. No, exactly. I would think something like that. But, but Frankie just said that you could if you wanted to. Right. Yeah, um, but, like, obviously the lads would make that decision, what they want to do, uh, Lydia. But, listen, it, it looks a lovely progression to go to an Irish Oaks with her and, and y when you don't have to, you know what I mean? So we, we'll go gentle away and see how she is. But the lads will make that decision themselves, really. And I notice you, she's got the usual entries that you would give a very good filly like that. But she's not in the arc, and yet yes. three-year-old filly... Or 
all the allowances. Yeah. Might she? You think about supplementing her now uh, after I, that performance? I, I, I would say the lads would exactly. Like they, they, they. Uh, we didn't enter too many in the arc because we, we like sometimes we would have an awful lot of horses we could put in the arc and we made the decision that we would put a certain number in and then after that if we wanted to run we would supplement like like we did with uh, Serpentine and that last year so he was supplemented even though he didn't get to run so that, that was the reason for that but look we have a good block of horses in there and, and then and whatever after that if the, if the lads want to do that we can put her in you know so Well she's very excited I look forward to see what you do with her I mentioned it was your eight folks but also a 158 year record that has stood since John Scott trained in the 19th century. You've now equaled him with the greatest number of British classic winners. I mean, yeah, milestones, there are so many in your career, but what does that say to you, particularly in this era as compared to the 19th yeah, century? Yeah, no, she listen, feel very privileged to, uh, to be in the position that we're in. Like, we're a small part of a massive team of people, Lydia, and we feel very privileged to be that part. And listen, I think it's a it's a testimony to the lads, the, the mayors that they have, the, the way they mate them, the way they manage the pedigrees. You know, like, it's incredible. Like, like that mayor, like she's a full sister, his dam, full sister to sound. She got put on the plane and got sent over to Deep Impact. You know, listen, that's unbelievable stuff. Like, and how, how could you, uh, like, that's thinking really outside the box. You know what I mean? You know, so, and like, we're so privileged. Uh, listen, there's an unbelievable team of people there in Coolmore and in Valley Dial that work so hard every day, day. And like, we're so privileged to be a small part of it, you know, and, and, uh, and, and to have these horses, you know. So, like, it's, it's, um, this is just incredible, really, Lid. And, and the third filly was, was a sister too found, you know what I mean? So, it's all the same yes. pedigree, you know. Yeah. So, listen, yeah. it's, and, and no matter what you do, like, those pedigrees, like they just keep coming out, you know what I mean? The so in incredible. So we're just yeah. very privileged and grateful to everybody, really. You had five winners here. You had the winner, the third, and the fifth. Tomorrow, you're relying just on Bolshoi Ballet. You were thinking about different permutations in the run-up to the race. Should we take it as a huge positive that you're relying on Bolshoi Ballet alone? Well, listen, J John and, and uh, Sue and Michael and Dorian and Derek and Gay and um, 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 George and Emily, they made the decision to, to come with the one horse. Um, we had Balche Bally, uh, we had Balche Bally's coming, uh, but we had um, a high definition there as well, and, and we think they're two good calls, and, and they, they made the decision that they wanted to split them up, um, um, and uh, the, I suppose if if uh, high definition didn't have the blip, then it would have been a clear run all the way, and you'd say, listen, the two of them have to go, but he did have a blip, and, and uh, he did have that a thing uh, just before York and it, just to give him that little bit of extra and, and we have the Irish Derby there which is a, a seriously important race too and and then the two of them can meet whenever after whenever they decide so I think that was the, the, the reason um, what we always do we, we the lads see the work they discuss everything the work is analysed they see everything about it the pros and the cons and then they make the decision and then and then we go whatever they're happy with Liddy that's what we always do and, and listen we're delighted and grateful to have the one runner really and the rain that has fallen today, how does that sit for Bolshoi Ballet tomorrow? He, he's a very good moving horse and, and he has plenty of class and speed. Like you can see, he's quickened very well every day he's ran. Um, so, like, obviously, it's not ideal for most horses. But he ran in France in bad ground last year and, and, and ran a good, respectable race. And I remember thinking, maybe, like, he did handle it okay and he did run respectably. He didn't lie down and fold up. So uh, I'm delighted that we did do that uh, with, with the looking to tomorrow. Like the filly today, he had a lot of experience last year, for this year. So hopefully that will stand to him. But, like, obviously it's not ideal, but you still hope that, listen, he might be able to co cope with it. And uh, he seems well since the last day, so hopefully. And his asset as well... Are, seem to me is that he's got a, a bit of speed that sort of malleable speed so he could hold a position out there yeah he's very straightforward he's happy to make it he's happy to drop in he, he he's a he's very biddable he's a very good temperament he relaxes and he does quicken so it'll be interesting to see what he will do tomorrow it'll be another chapter in his career and he, he's going to learn a lot and we'll learn a lot about him but he's very straightforward hush usually well it could be another milestone in yours many many congratulations on this success Aidan and thanks for talking to thanks, us thanks Lydia pleasure thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you very much.